guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So today I'm super excited because in my last video, I mentioned to you guys that I would introduce you to my new plants because I am a new plant parent. So that's what this video is all about today. I'm going to be featuring to you guys and introducing to you guys my new plants. So starting with this one first, which is absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my favorite plants. I've had this before and unfortunately it died when we moved and it grew to be a large tree. I had it outside and it just flourished. And this is a Chiffalera and her name is Lyra, the Chiffalera. And so I have her here in a pot in our entryway and you can see the size of her. She is absolutely gorgeous. This is a variegated form. So you can see on the leaves, it has um, some lighter coloring along with the green leaves. They do have one that's just green, but this time I chose to get the variegated ones. So let me bring you guys in a little bit closer for a closer look. So here you can see how there is a little bit of like yellowing on some of the leaves. That's the variegation. And I think it is so very pretty. The Chiffalera that I had in the past was just all green. So um, those are very pretty too, but this has another uh, just added interest, visual interest to me. And I thought it was very gorgeous. And I love how this plant is already bushing out. You can see how wide it is. So it's giving like an umbrella effect, which I love. And it's perfect right here in the entryway. This plant does like um, a good amount of sunlight, but like indirect sunlight. So that's why it's perfect right here in the entryway because it's right here in front of a window get, and it is getting sunlight, but the sun does not shine directly in through this window. So it's not getting direct sunlight, so it won't burn the leaves. This plant is a very healthy and absolutely beautiful. And I do anticipate it growing into a large tree. So eventually I'll have to repot it. Right now I still have it in the pot that it came in and I just set that pot inside of a pot that I purchased at Walmart. And in my previous video, you guys saw how I layered two pots on top of each other to give a more sculptural look because I did want to raise the plant up so it would be closer to the window but I didn't want to use a plant stand. So I think she looks so very pretty here in the entryway. And this is going to be her home for quite a while, at least until she's too big to fit here. So I think she's got a happy home for a while here. So I have these three little guys in our kitchen window and I think they fit perfectly here. I still have them in the little pots that they came in when I picked them up from Walmart. They were only $3.94 each for this aloe vera. Now I have to say this is a small little pot. I guess it's like a two inch pot and $4 for this is more than I paid last year. I think I only paid like $2 or $3 for plants this size and they grew to be very large. But because they died with our winter storm, I wanted to go ahead and replace them. So you can see they're small, but they're, they're a really good size. And I wanted to get this footage to see how they continue to grow. I've had them for about four days now. And I have to say, I think they've gotten bigger in just that little time but we'll see how they grow. Aloe vera tends to grow fairly fast and you know there's lots and lots of health benefits to aloe vera. It is called the nurse plant because it has lots of medicinal qualities. And here's the other one. And so I'm just gonna leave them here in these little pots for now maybe a couple of months or so. You can see the root is coming out a little bit on this one, but the other ones, the roots are not coming out yet. And so I'm going to just let them grow in these little pots before I decide to replant them. 
or repot them. And here I have my fiddle leaf fig tree. I was so super excited to get this guys. They had them at my local grocery store and they look fairly healthy. And so I picked out one that I thought was the best. And this one you can see it does have a couple of blemishes. I see that this leaf has a hole in it. Um, but for the most part it looked very healthy. And I they did have the leaves are kind of dirty. So some of them I've wiped off already like these but I left a couple of them so you can see how they look when they need to be wiped so I will um, wipe these off because you want to make sure that the surface of the leaf stays clean at all times and I've this is my first time having a fiddle leaf fig tree and I've did quite a bit of research online and on YouTube with these and I know that they can be kind of finicky <laughs> to say the least right and so I'm hoping that this one's going to do well I have it placed in front of the window where it gets lots of light they really like to be in a well-lit space so I have it I still have it in the pot that it came in from the nursery or from the grocery store rather here I just set this pot inside a bigger pot um, I'm going to leave it in this pot for a while until I think it's ready to be transplanted and then I'll put it in this bigger pot. So, but of course I want it to have the look of a more decorative pot so that's why I just sat it inside there. And I wanted to make sure that it was getting plenty of sunlight, even the bottom leaves here. So that's why I sat it on top of this plant stand. So I did see online that you can cut off, you know, the portion of the leaf that's damaged like this. And this, would, um, this damage is likely from being too dry. So I've only had this plant for a couple of days now. So I hope to remedy any of the little small issues that it had. But otherwise, I think it's very healthy looking. And I'm really excited to have it. So her name is Fancy, the fiddle leaf fig tree. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to have Fancy here and we will see how well she grows. And you can see here, they staked it with a, bam a bamboo stake and you can see how tall it is. So, so as she continues to grow, I'll just keep it going up that bamboo skewer so that it will grow straight and tall. But yeah, I'm really, really happy to have her. I love, love, love these beautiful large leaves and the kind of uh, ruffly effect that they have along the edges. That's why her name is Fancy because she is definitely fancy. <laughs> Next here, I have this beautiful majestic palm. Her name is Maggie, the Majestic Palm. <laughs> so I picked this one up at, I think Walmart also. And I thought she was really, really pretty. I love that this one has some new shoots coming up already. And it's a fairly large size already. Now I don't have a pot for her. I'm actually using the pot that I did get for her for another plant and so the next time I'm in Walmart I'll have to just pick one up but for now again she's doing fine in this pot there's not any it's not root bound or anything like that so it should do fine like this for at least a couple of months and then I will repot it later but you can see the leaves are nice and healthy looking and again this is a plant that's fairly um, fast growing and really easy to maintain. It just likes to be in a brightly lit space with a moderate amount of water and it should do really well. I've had this uh, type of palm before and I actually moved it outside and I had it outside for years. It did well in a pot but it did get damaged from our winter storm this year also. So I'm hoping that it will come back, but in the meantime, I did go ahead and pick this one up 
for to keep indoors. So this is Maggie, the Majestic Palm. Okay guys, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You know, that helps me out tremendously. Leave me a comment down below to let me know which plant you like the best. Lyra, the Chiffalira, Fancy, the Fiddle Leaf Fig, or Maggie, the Majestic Palm, or the Aloe Vera Plants, which I didn't name them. I realized that after I was doing this video that those three don't have a name. So um, I'll have to work on that. But leave me a comment down below to let me know which one you think is the most prettiest and also if you have a favorite indoor plant that you like to grow. Also guys, uh, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the notification bell to receive alerts as to when I upload new videos. For my faithful family members, mm, mm, mm. You all know I love you, love you, love you so, so, so very much. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.